Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React.js video tutorial, we will learn that how we can send the data from child component to parent component in React.js. So in React.js, we call it lifting state up. The meaning of the, uh, both thing is basically same. If uh, someone asks you to what is the lifting up state and uh, how we can send the data from child component to the, to the parent component, the answer of both question will be same and that answer we will learn in this video with example. So uh, sometime some guys are actually confused that uh, lifting state up. So this state is meaning is a component state. No, this is actually not belongs to the component state. The data that we are to send from child to component can be prop, can be state, can be uh, normal variable, constant, let, anything can be uh, sent from child to parent right so what we are going to do in this complete process first of all we will make a child component then we will send the data from uh, send the data with the probe from parent to child right for the revision purpose then we will uh, uh, just make a function inside a parent component and call it from the child and uh, from child we will just pass some parameters with the data and that data will be uh, uh, can be get in the parent component right and uh, at the last I will ask you some question you can attempt this question in a comment box and I will provide you the answer of uh, uh, last video's question actually in last video I asked the three questions I will provide you the answer of these all questions also and this is my insta account link so now let's get started this is my output screen and this is my app.js component so first of all let's uh, create a child component it can be uh, let's say user dot js right and let's make a function function name can be user and let's return something um, in a return let's uh, take a div oh my bad let's take a div then we can just simply put here h1 tag and uh, we can just simply uh right here user component and uh, here we can just uh, make a button right and just put here some text like click me or something now at the last we can export this component export default user right so that's great now let's import it import user from user and uh, we can use it simply like here like uh, user right so this is the basic process in most of the videos we basically do these kind of things right so now how we can send the data so let me just uh, take a const like name right and uh, just put here some string like anil siddhu is my name and uh, let's pass this name to the uh, child component first of all right so we are actually that for a moment we are sending the data from um, parent to child for the revision purpose right so let's just add here a uh, data and uh, just uh, use your norm name const now we just send the data from parent to component parent to child and we can just receive it like inside uh, props and here we can just put here user name is and just simply use here props dot name right and here you can see the output no we didn't get because this is the data not name we just send here a data right that's why so now this is working fine so that's all fine so now we just revise that how we can just send the data from parent to child but the child to parent is also very similar now let's make a function here right and my function name can be like um, get name right it can be anything for a purpose i'm just going to put here uh, get name and uh, for a moment i'm just going to write here hello user right and i'm not going to pass the data now like this i can just uh, put here a uh, uh, alert or something because I'm just going to put here alert right or uh, let's say just uh, get data this is also fine 
and pass this function here like get name keep in mind you don't need to call it here if you just directly call it it will be just called on a runtime right on a uh, whenever our uh, dom is loaded component is loaded right so just uh, pass it like this and now here we don't need to call it here we can just simply call it here on click right so on that on click let's make a arrow function and uh, just put here our function name which is uh, get data so just use here props dot get data like this right and now let's see what we are getting here whenever i'm just click on clicking on it hello user this is working fine so now let's uh, just uh, define the same thing which are we just made here name uh, const name in a child component and just put here anil sindhu right and let's pass this uh, name in a get data function and now here let's just put here name or any parameter whatever you want just put inside the alert right and uh, now whenever you will click you can see that we get the data from child to parent component right and uh, here we can just uh, use this uh, data to print here to use in a state and whatever you want right and uh, you can just send some more data also you can just send him from here array object and all and just whatever you want right so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in a comment box now let's discuss the answer that i asked in the previous video first question is if i am just uh, using the fragment on my top on my uh, parent component can i use a uh, a fragment on a child component also yes you can use fragment and uh, all function all components also right whenever you want wherever you want it's totally up to you it's not related that if you just uh, use it in the parent component you cannot use it in the child right you can use second thing is uh, so uh, like we are using the fragment like here so can i just simply use a class name no we cannot use class name but we can use key this is why the third question can we use a key here yes we can use a key property right so that's all for this video yeah it's time to interview question so let's say i have a app as a parent component users as a child component let's say i have a one more uh, uh, component uh, let's say super child component one another one uh, child component for a uh, users so can i call this uh, super parent function inside a super child also just give me the answer yes in or no if uh, uh, you can just explain it better then that's much fine right and please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care